Today we're going to try to learn how to solve a system of equations using RTI Inspire in the graphing mode. So we're going to try to solve by graphing. So we're going to start right here in our main menu and obviously we're going to try to use a graph part. Now remember you can use the scratch pad and you go to the graph part of it or you can add a page, a graphing page to your document which I always like to use the scratch pad, but the steps that we will take, there will be no difference. So we're gonna to go to graph, and immediately we're gonna see who's gonna be asking us an equation. So the first example that we're gonna do, we're gonna do x plus two for our first equation. And if we I just click uh, down, uh, immediately my first equation will be graph, and then I have space to write my second one. In this case, we're going to use negative 3x plus 7. So after we are done, we just press enter. And we will see both equations right here. Now, one of the my favorite features of the TI Inspire is not only that we can graph different equations with different colors, is that we have the label so you know at every time which one it is. So we can see the intersection point, which will be the solution for our system. But... Uh, for uh, the calculator to actually show us exactly what point is that, we are going to go to menu, and then we are going to use analyze graph. Then after we select analyze graph, you will see the number four is intersection. You are going to select this, and then you will notice that you are getting like a bar. What this is doing is asking you in a graphical way, where is the section that you wanted to look for the intersection? In this case, we only have linear functions, so there's only one. But for other examples, you might have more than one intersection. So this allows you to uh, select specifically which is the intersection that you want. So you're going to click before your intersection as your lower bound, or where do you want to start? I call this the box. And then as you start moving, you will select the other end of it. So the only uh, thing that you have to worry about is your intersection being inside of this box that you are drawing. Once that you do that, this that you see right here, that will be actually the solution because they are the coordinates of this uh, intersection point. So as you can tell, there's no difference for the uh, TI Inspire if it's a whole number or a decimal. And this is exactly what your solution would be. Now, I want to show you a different example, so I'm going to clear my scratch pad doc b and I'm going to select again the graphing part and I'm going to use 2x this time minus 1 and then for my second equation I'm going to press enter because what if your second equation is in standard form well all that you have to do is press menu and then you will notice that so the option 3 says graph entry edit so you will still have an equation, it's just that it's not in the form of y equals. So you're going to select equation, and in this case we're going to use a line. In the moment that you select line, a third, another menu comes in to where you see how it's already set up for standard form. So we're going to select standard form, and our second equation is being in standard form is going to be x plus 2y equals negative 12. Now, this is already set up. If I know that I have x, this, the calculator is specifically asking me for a coefficient for x. So you will have to put a 1. In this case, I have just x, so I will put a 1. And then for y, we're going to put 2. And then equals negative 12. Enter. So there are both of them. Now, in this case, they are the same color because they are in different formats. But you can still see the intersection. So for us to the calculate for to as a calculator to actually give us what are the coordinates of this uh, solution or intersection point again we're going to go to menu analyze graph and then immediately intersection and remember you need to draw your box now remember you have to start from before it doesn't matter how far or how close you are as long as your intersection is inside this box that I like to call it. So right here, that will be our solution, negative 2, comma, negative 5. Or, in other words, that's the intersection point. 
There's one more feature that I want to show you, so I'm going to clear this again. And uh, I'm going to put uh, my first equation in slope intercept form 4x plus 5. And the second one, I'm going to put it again in standard form. It's in standard form, so I have to go to menu, graph entry. I have an equation. It is a line, but I have it in standard form. So I'm going to go with the simple one. This is going to be x, which I have to put my 1, plus y, which I still have to put my 1 for my coefficient, equals 15. Now, in this case, notice that the intersection is not in your screen. It is important that you have the intersection in the screen for the calculator to aid you to find the intersection point. So what we're going to do is just click on the um, anywhere in the graph so you can drag it down. It's as simple as that. You just drag it and the whole purpose of this is for you to see the intersection point in your screen. So then we can do menu, analyze graph, and we want the intersection. And again, we're going to go from our lower bound or they could begin in our box before the intersection until after the intersection. And here will be our intersection point or our solution for this system.